Oh, hello again. This is Dominic. Morning, Nick Berard at Keller Williams. How are you doing, dude? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Tired just like you. <laughs> so we're gone through a couple uh, pages here this morning, and uh, a few titles on there: Think Possibilities, um, Think Action, and Think Without Fear. What was that quote there that kind of stuck out to us? The biggest thing that stuck out this morning: the only time you can't afford to fail is the last time you try. That's so powerful. The only time you can't afford to fail is the last time you try. And again, what we were kind of reading through is, is again, being in the correct mindset. I mean, you know, you need to understand that it is possible to, to you know, gross a million dollars in real estate. Well, ultimately, earn a million dollars, right? Net it and earn it. But this mentality of, of making sure you understand that it's possible and making sure you understand the steps and the systems and the models to get there, I think is the important platform they're trying to build here in these pages. Well, so the biggest thing I took out of these few sections this morning is that if you, uh, what separates uh, the average agent and the millionaire real estate agent is that the millionaire real estate agents know it's possible, they think it's possible, and then they take action. Correct. Because they understand that that without the action, you can't get there. I mean, that's true for anybody. If you do not, if you just sit back, kick your feet up and say, hey, business is just going to come to me. Um, I, I don't know how long you'll be in this business. So taking action and understanding the models and, and systems that you have to support your business. Uh, and then with that action, you know, you do need to think forward without fear because failure is going to happen and setbacks are going to happen. But I think the difference between, again, the average agent versus a millionaire real estate agent is the fact that when failure does happen, they're not allowing it to paralyze them. You know, they're moving forward past that. Um, they're understanding that a failure is just one more stepping stone to your ultimate goal. Well, and, and uh, they actually said in here, um, I like the quote, there is no failure. You win or you learn. Either one is okay. Mm -hmm. So that's just a mindset shift that even if you think you're failing, there is no failure until you stop trying because uh, until you quit. So as long as you're not Quitting, as long as you're taking whatever uh, outcome or result from a given activity and it's not good or bad, it is what it is, learn from it and move forward. I mean, it's... When they give a good example in the book too with uh, talking about the 2002 Winter Olympics, which I think we're all fans of in the Northwest here because of Apollo Ono. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they talked about him specifically where he was pretty well set in the race to win the gold with skating and uh, one of the skaters close to him took him out as well when he fell and so... Basically, the guy in last place crossed the finish line first, and everybody's, everybody else, all the leaders are in a pile. Like, you know, like just it's pretty much the, the game is over, the race is over, except Apollo Ono has some sense of mind to like in the urgency to get up. He's even though it's a failure, it's just a setback, and he gets up and he still lunges across the line for at least a second. So it's a silver medal. So it's pretty cool considering you completely taken out of a race. So think about that. You've yeah. prepared for four years. Your whole life is dedicated to these Olympics. Four years. I don't know if I've done anything for four years yet. Your mindset on gold and, and, and everything you're working towards is is to win and get that gold medal. And then, yeah, however many people, I think there's six. And he's one of six, and the last person crosses after they get tangled up. That's just uh, awesome that he says, screw it, I'm just going to keep going. He gets up and does it. Yeah, and it says, last, last line here, top agents persevere through the failures along the way so that they do not fail at the end of the day. So basically what it is, making sure we understand you can think it taking action and then not letting setbacks hold you back. So. Get after it, giddy up. I like that. Uh, it says, get get after it, get up, and giddy up. Again, let's go into the Million Real Estate Agent book, and we'll continue to work our way through this again. So. Yeah, mine's upside, yeah, upside down. And guess what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm learning that I got to do it this way. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you guys. <laughs>